On today's episode, we're going to cover the new WordPress plugin by Webflow that enables you to connect a Webflow designed website into WordPress. It's going to be a little tutorial and talking about what you can and can't do with it and when to use it. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another Webflow video. As you know, or probably suspected, um, I'm pretty biased, right? I love building websites with Webflow. I'm passionate about it. I talk about this all the time and I don't really like working with WordPress. That being said, there are some times where you have to work with WordPress for multiple reasons. One of them is that there's just a huge um, base of plugins that allows you all kinds of publishing capabilities that you might have to use when working in your website. Or sometimes your clients just love or probably not love, but very used to working in WordPress. Maybe they have their website built on WordPress for years and already have pretty big kind of like a database and they don't want to migrate. It happened to me multiple times. And so you have to know how to design the website in WordPress, in Webflow, but then transfer it and host it on WordPress and use WordPress CMS most of the times. So Webflow just recently launched um, or published a plugin, like a native plugin for WordPress. And I want to show you exactly how it works. So let's go through a quick demo. So here I have um, a Webflow website. It's basically an e-commerce website that I just took from um, Webflow's template library. And here I've just installed a new WordPress website. So the first thing that you want to do is install the new plugin. Plugin. So let me add a new plugin here. Let me search for Webflow, Webflow. And uh, here we go. This is the a plugin by Webflow. As you can see, I'm going to install it right now. And installed, I'm going to activate it. So it's pretty simple to set up. You can see it right here on the left now. There's a welcome screen that pretty much takes you through the process of what you need to set up. I'm just going to jump into the setting. So the first thing you want to do is connect a specific Webflow website to here. So to do that, you're going to go into your site setting, project setting here from the top left, you're going to go to integrations, and then you're going to um, generate a new API key. So I'm just going to copy that, paste it in here. And basically, now the websites are connected. So what you want to do right now is now you have this panel here, which basically says which pages you want to import into your WordPress website. So here you can see actually the Webflow pages and you can choose which page you want and where, what, what's the path that you want on the WordPress website. And this is for static pages and this is for collection pages. So let's just test that. Let's select the home page and put it on a path. I'm just going to do dash. So it's kind of the home page of this website. I'm just going to add it. So now we've imported the home page and let's also import the product page. So let me just dash product and then dash and then asterisk, which basically says that all the pages, the, the specific product pages um, from the CMS are going to Im be imported um, to WordPress. So basically I've just set up this two of these pages and this is published on a domain that I have that I bought a while ago, the full stack designer didn't use it yet. So this is just temporarily testing this. Let me load up the full stack designer and bang, the website is loaded. Now you can see here on the bottom right made with Webflow. This is because this um, website is actually no, without a hosting plan and it's just the free plan. And so that's why I can see the, the built with Webflow I can probably remove that if I will be moving into a, a paid plan. Um, but basically it works and uh, I can, I can obviously go here into my Webflow page, go into the designer, do some updates for the text, publish it. And basically let's see if this works. I'm not sure it works really fast, but Here's a new headline. Basically, that would be as simple as that to update your page. You would go to publish and publish it. And uh, I'm not sure it's going to load that fast, but basically this is how you would load things up. But what I want to show you is I'm going to click the catalog here and then I didn't import the catalog page. So note that I'm getting into this page could not be found. Um, but if I'll go here into the products and I'll click one of them, You'll see here product mega plush toy. So this is loaded. Now, this is basically how this works. And let me talk about what's 
good about this and where it, this is pretty limited. So if you want to have your homepage designed and have full control over how things look, obviously this is really good. It just imported. I didn't have to use a theme or use something like that. I just imported with one click the homepage. But when it comes to dynamic content, such as e-commerce or things like blog, if I would import the blog from Webflow, if I would want to publish new content on that blog, I would still have to use Webflow to put in and create new collection items for blog posts for um, the website. I would not be able to use WordPress native publishing capabilities to publish a Webflow blog. So basically what you would probably do is have the static pages such as homepage or about imported directly from Webflow. And then the dynamic pages such as a blog post, you would need to have some kind of a template, WordPress template for them. And if you would want to control and do the publishing from WordPress itself. This is basically where the plugin that Udesly created, and I have, I think I have a video on top of that, if not search Udesly on YouTube, because they've actually created um, a plugin that you export Webflow as a code and turn that into a template, into a WordPress theme that is dynamic. So let's get to the bottom of the point here. <laughs> if you wanna use this new um, plugin, it's actually really good if you want to design landing pages or static pages. And that can be great if you have, if your company has a website and needs new pages that are updated regularly and you don't want to mess up with, you know, creating them on WordPress every single time. But if you want to use WordPress for publishing, you basically need to ma still maintain two different websites, as I said, the static pages with Webflow and the dynamic pages or the blog designed by on on top of WordPress. So I hope that was clear on in, in terms of how easy it is to import static pages into WordPress. Um, but then if you want to use its publishing capabilities, you're still going to have to maintain either develop your own pages or use something like Udacity to translate your WordPress into kind of a dynamic theme. I hope that was clear. Let me know in the comments if you think this plugin is actually helpful for you, if you're going to be working with it. And if you've got any questions about it, make sure that you're subscribed for more videos on Webflow, web design, and freelancing in general. And I'll see you on the next video.